In this exhibition, we've got three bodies of work that I produced over 12, 13 years. The first one being American Night, which are these very white, overexposed pictures from all the compass points of America, north, south, east, west. Uh, the invisibility of the poor and the dispossessed in the United States, how they've sort of been edited out of our seeing in a way. The second, chronologically speaking, and, and body of work that's presented in its entirety here is called A Shimmer of Possibility, um, where you'll see these stuttering sequences of very innocuous everyday moments that I share through my photography with people I met traveling around the United States. And then finally, work called The Present, which is uh, street photography from New York City in diptychs and triptychs, examining the confluence of people and moments and attention that you have as you navigate one of America's major cities in, at this point of time. Well, these three bodies of work that I described have, have here been united under the title of The Whiteness of the Whale which is the chapter 42, I believe it is, of Moby Dick. It's one of these bizarre chapters where Herman Melville uh, rants about the color whiteness. Um, and my interest in that book and that title obviously came initially from American Night, these white, blinding white pictures driving across America. It was this obsessive, monomaniacal pursuit of something. That uh, is it became the, the starting point for, for that interest in Moby Dick and what, what that book was about and how that related to the American Night work. Um, it doesn't, you know, I don't want to make people believe that Moby Dick is some key to this work. It's not. It's a useful title. It's a beautiful title. It refers to being in the belly of the beast, the whiteness of the whale. Um, and that's a kind of perfect metaphor for traveling and being within America now. These works do talk to some degree about the nature of seeing and photography itself. Uh, to be more specific than that, you know, in some ways, the, uh, the American night pictures, the white pictures, um, deal with uh, intensity of light flooding in, obviously, and, and the way you control that on the camera is with the aperture on the camera, the iris, that, that little sort of eye that opens and closes that controls the flood of light or flow of it in, into the, onto the uh, camera. Um, Shimmer deals with stuttering moments of time, cut up, you know, time chopped into sort of se sequences, brief, brief erratic sequences, which you control time in the camera with the shutter control. So that's the aperture control and the shutter control. And um, the present, the third and final uh, body of work here, the New York Street pictures, have very shallow focus on them. Um, they just deal with something coming into focus, focal awareness, very sharp. Before it and behind it, it's blurry, out of focus. And then that moves and another thing comes into focus. So our awareness changes as according to the focus. And that's the third and final control of the camera. How much light, how much time, and where the lens is focused. And each of these series, in their own way, examines and deals with that content of photography. Aperture, the light, shutter, the time, and focus, which is our awareness or consciousness. Um, and that's where it becomes more interesting, because at the end of the day, I don't really care about three controls on the camera. But in terms of light and time and awareness or consciousness, that's far, far more interesting and far more provocative as, a, as something worth exploring.